So I bought this cement and mortar mixer that I need to put together. Um, the box exploded, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting it together. <laughs> First, we're going to assemble the stand and the wheel bracket with uh, this hex bolt. Next, we're going to go ahead and attach the wheels using the washer and these pins. This is wrong, so don't do it this way. Um, the correct way should be washer, wheel, washer, and then it gets pinned on. Here, I'm missing the washer that goes on first. Next, we're going to attach this support bracket. <clears throat> now I'm going to attach the lower drum to the stand. Gonna attach this control plate to the lower drum now. Next, I'm going to attach the control arm to the shaft. Um, to do that, you have to first ins insert uh, this disc and the spring into this. So make sure this is backed out all the way so that this disc could lay flat in there. And you slip that in there. Then you can put your spring. And you go ahead and place it there. followed by the bolt, another washer, another nut, and then you have a locking nut also.
do that, you can tighten the spring down. That'll provide the tension to swing back. Now with the upper drum, I'm going to place the rubber seal on the upper drum using a gasket seal. This does not come with it, but it does mention it in the instructions. To make sure you line up the holes, I'm going to go ahead and put the gasket sealer on here. Didn't really mention it in the instructions, but while it dries on the upper gasket. Five minutes later. Okay, I let the gasket sealer dry on the gasket so that it'll stick on there a little bit on the upper drum. Now I'm going to put this lining up the holes. Alright, now I'm going to attach the top of the drum to the bottom of the drum with these screws and nuts. the paddle to the drum. Okay, I put this on wrong. So this bracket goes on after with this bracket right there and longer bolts. This bracket gets attached to uh, there. I'm going to try and clean 
your shaft off. Put a little oil on it. There's a key pin that goes in there. the screw back on. Now it's time to get this motor out. Attach this belt. You can use these bolts to uh, loosen them lower the motor bracket to tighten the belt. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. Thanks.